For me, it was like, when I get married, my life's gonna start. Just look at her. Of course, Cindy Crawford had suitors lining up for a chance. Today, we're looking at Cindy's relationship history, from the beginning of her fame to her happily ever after. Even gorgeous women like Cindy Crawford have to figure out love. There were many rumors about who she was seeing. Some of the rumors said she dated Robert De Niro. Others claimed she and Shaquille O'Neal hooked up. None of the rumored romances had ever been confirmed, except for one with a famous actor. One of those suitors was Val Kilmer. The Willows star even wrote about his romance with Cindy in his memoir. Oh God, I loved Cindy and just kept loving her. I thought I could have died from her love because its delight was simply too much to bear. I would die of happiness, Val wrote. How romantic is that? Cindy left an impression for sure. But Crawford's most famous relationship to date happened way before. She and Kilmer only kindled their flame in 1996, which didn't burn for long. Before that, the model was coupled up with 90s heartthrob Richard Gere. They were one of the most glamorous Hollywood couples. A dashing, talented actor and a stunning model. Couple goals. Fans developed a serious case of the heart eyes every time they showed up on a red carpet together. It was 1988 when Cindy and Richard met. He was already a famous actor. She was beginning her reign in the modeling industry. The actor was just a year away from his 40s. In the meantime, Cindy was just 22 years old. The two hit it off despite the huge age gap between them. One of their shared interests was in Buddhism and the art of meditation. They even took spiritual journeys to India and Nepal together. After they started dating, Crawford and Gear moved in together in New York City. They tried their best to keep their relationship private, often ducking and dodging to avoid the paparazzi. They didn't want anyone in their business, so much so that when they eventually got married, they eloped. It was 1991. Cindy and Richard eloped in Las Vegas. Their wedding was a simple ceremony at the Little Church of the West. Discussing the story, Cindy explained that she and the actor had been dating for quite a few years. At one point, she asked him if they would ever get married. And Richard's reply? Let's go to Vegas tonight, the model shared. It wasn't the wedding I dreamed of. It was so last minute I wore this Armani suit, she added. And by the way, their wedding was so last minute that their rings were made of tin foil. Ain't that spontaneous? The news of their marriage made fans ship Gear and Crawford even harder. Oh, and don't even start on that 1991 Oscars moment. That night, Gear and Crawford were the epitome of gorgeous couples. Little did fans know that behind the scenes, Cindy and Richard's marriage was the opposite of what we saw in pictures. Years later, the model would open up about how the age gap really affected her. Cindy noticed herself trying harder and harder to be more like Richard, to fit into his world. In the beginning of a relationship, when you're a young woman, you're like, you like baseball? I like baseball. Oh, you, you're really into Tibetan Buddhism? I might be into that, I'll try that. Cindy said she would mold herself around Richard because she loved him. Crawford even had to let go of parts of herself that she loved so dearly. Reflecting on the marriage, the model said she was a different person at 22. She was happy to follow Richard's lead. But that changed as she got older and grew into her womanhood. She realized that maybe sometimes she wants to lead, other times she wants to walk side by side. And it just so happened that Gear couldn't get on board with that. The biggest change I've made is in terms of schedule. I, I won't do as much work because you have to schedule in time together. And while Cindy was married to Richard, something magical happened. She was invited to her agent's wedding. There, she met Randy Gerber, a model at the time. Of course, nothing romantic happened, I was invited to the wedding, but not with my girlfriend at the time. Cindy was invited with her boyfriend, but her boyfriend was out of town. Cindy was married and Randy had a girlfriend, but for years they kept a tight friendship. It was only around 1997 that they started getting lovey with each other. By then, Crawford and Gear had been divorced for two years. By 1998, Crawford and Gerber had tied the knot. They had a small but so beautiful wedding on the Bahamas beach. I had a great summer. I got married. You got married! I got married! I'm so happy! I know, me too. It was great. We had such a good time. Now, they've been happily married for 25 years and counting. Cindy and Randy both say that their years of friendship make their marriage so strong. There's always a certain level of respect. We respect each other's opinions about parenting and our personal life, but also for work stuff. We really listen to each other. 
I would want that friendship in my life no matter what, the actress once shared. How's that for a happy ending? That's it for today. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. Please subscribe to our channel for more stories on your favorite celebs. Be well and be kind.